All right, so today's question is 286 walls and gates. Uh, we are given a n by n 2D grid with uh, three possible initial values. Minus one is a wall and obstacle. Zero is a gate and infinity, which is represented by this large integer value, is an uh, empty room. Um, we can assume that the distance from the empty room to the, to the neighborhood gates is less than this uh, um, infinity representing number. The question asks us to fill the, uh, the empty rooms with the distance to its nearest gate. Uh, so if it's impossible to reach a gate, it should be filled with infinity. Uh, that, that's just that doesn't change, doesn't change, don't change the value. The example here, we have a 2D grid with uh, four rows and four columns. We have two room, uh, two gates at uh, uh, row four, column one, and uh, row one, column three. We have some obstacles and empty rooms. So uh, if I was just to randomly pick a room and try to determine what value it should be, like uh, the row one and column one empty room here, uh, we see that uh, if we go three steps, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, we can reach the uh, gate that's uh, at, uh, uh, at the bottom left, which is uh, the, actually the closest, uh, uh, closer one compared to the other one because the other one we have to do one two three four so we basically would change the room's value with three here um, so th this uh, works through leads us to uh, do first search on the uh, front all the possible rooms so just for each of the room we do BFS when we reach the first uh, gate we terminate and uh, just replace the cell value with the, the room's value with that uh, distance and the time complexity for doing this is going to be uh, n multiplied by n, uh, the, the product squared. Because we have uh, uh, n multiplied by n, maximum upper bound to, uh, number of empty rooms in the grid. And for each of the room, the uh, BFS is going to, um, at the maximum, search all the cells in the, on the grid. That's uh, n multiplied by n. So that's the two things multiplied together we get uh, the, the product squared uh, in, t in terms of time complexity. And for space complexity, yeah, the size of the queue, the maximum size of the queue is going to be the whole board, um, which is uh, n multiplied by n. So that's the time and space complexity for doing BFS uh, at the each empty rooms. The better way of doing that is uh, basically marking the um, you can consider that uh, doing BFS from all the gates, uh, which is also pretty much just uh, marking the uh, rooms in, in, in by distance. So in the first round of marking the rooms, we mark all the rooms that's uh, one step away from the gates to be one. So we do we change this room, this room, this room to be one. The second time we change the cells as two step away from the gates to be two. Uh, we basically change this two uh, room and this room to be two. Uh, in the third round, we change this and this room to be three. And in the very last round, we change this, uh, this room to be four. Um, so so uh, the, the code to solve this is uh, first identify all the rooms and then uh, just to uh, marking rooms um, one in, in the increment uh, in distance uh, each round. So the time complexity for the second solution is uh, n multiplied by n. That's basically we explore all the cells, uh, the cells um, at, at the most of ones. We mark all the cells at the most of ones. Uh, and uh, the space complexity is just the Q, which is uh, m multiplied by n. So let's code this question up. Uh, we'll deal with the boundary case first. If we have nonsense, we just return nonsense. Otherwise, uh, we store the locate store the size of the grid. Then we first to try to locate all the gates. Uh, 
zero is gate. So then we do this uh, BFS from gates. We, while we still have some gates, uh, uh, possible empty rooms to explore, uh, we, would, we would continue uh, doing this uh, exercise. Uh, for each of the rooms on the queue, we will try to explore its neighborhood rooms, uh, its neighborhood uh, empty rooms. We will we'll mark the empty room uh, to be 1 plus the room's value. And uh, we will put, put the, the neighbor onto the queue, onto the tail of the queue, so that we can keep exploring. We just have to um, uh, define this function. Uh, this is basically trying to move in the four directions, uh, still within the board. And uh, if the room is uh, empty, uh, we, 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 we yield that location. Uh, so it's uh, go up, go down. Go left and go right. So whether that if this uh, location is uh, within the board, we're not going out of bond. Uh, plus the the room is still empty. Copy this integer value here. Then we yield that location. So yeah, this is the code. Um, we just uh, scan all the cells once. That's n multiplied by n in time, uh, linear in time. Just grabbing all the gates. Then because the gates are one at uh, zeros, we just uh, uh, you know mark the neighborhoods to be one and then uh, we mark the neighborhoods to those one cell one rooms to be two and just keep going until we um, uh, exhausted all the stuff that we can explore so this should be uh, let, me, let me quickly check um, it's four directions and it's a uh, it's a wireless cell on the board and it's uh, still empty uh, we yield that location so for the neighbors, we would just uh, annotate that the room's value to be one plus the uh, the you know the the source cells uh, uh, value. So yeah, it looks right to me. Well, let's submit this. Okay. Uh, okay, that's the question for today. <laughs>